Hello everyone, it's Bill, and around 63 million years ago, this happened. And then, this. Let's get into it with T-Rex and the Crater of Doom by Walter Alvarez. Come on in. Take a seat, and let's turn some pages. T-Rex and the Crater of Doom, written by UC Berkeley geophysicist Walter Alvarez, is a cleverly written book about the discovery of not only how the dinosaurs were wiped out, but the discovery of the actual crater formed by the falling debris from a passing meteor or asteroid. The changes to the Earth's atmosphere and surface via fire, tsunamis, and of course the changes in the atmosphere was so devastating it ended the age of dinosaurs. But the book is about more than the above mentioned discoveries. In a mere 146 pages, Alvarez takes us on the trip with him from Italy to Mexico to the Southwest, California, and more to solve the mystery. In the process, he gives us an insider look at how field science, in this case, geology and chemistry, is done. But he also brings us to the lab as we meet with his colleagues and collaborators, including his dad and his wife, in a case of epic proportions. With easy to read short chapters, Alvarez lays out his case step by step centering on what's called the KT boundary, the thin layer in the rock separating the Cretaceous from the tertiary periods of geologic time, now recognized as the transition from the age of the reptiles to the age of the mammals, all because of the cataclysmic event that Alvarez is investigating. In the process, he does recognize some of the forces working against him including alternative theories. He takes these seriously, as a scientist should. I won't spoil it for you, but things do work out well for Alvarez and his team, even better than expected. It was a long 12 years or so from the beginning of the investigation to the end, including looking at the possibility of an oceanic site, which by now would be long gone due to the process of making new ocean floor. In the end, this book is a well-written study of one of the most intriguing mysteries of geology and biology. How did the dinosaurs die? Yes, we do find out what happened to the dinosaurs, but by using his investigation as the backdrop, Alvarez explores what it's like to do science, explaining processes and introducing us to some of the most important geologists of the time. He shows us that science isn't done in a vacuum, but it is a collaborative vocation. With that, what is your craziest idea as to what happened in the dinosaurs? Let me know down in the comments. Please check out the links in the description to join our brand new Patreon and Instagram. Check out this playlist right here for more book reviews. And as always, please keep on reading. See you next time.